what's up guys welcome back to yet another hack the box machine and today we are upgrading a little bit we'll be doing chronos which is a linux machine this is a linux week i'm only doing linux and then next week we'll be back to windows and this is a medium machine which means it's a little difficult but guys i think we've been building skills we've already done 10 videos of these so by now we should be able to graduate to this machine so without wasting time let me just get started. I just want to, as you can see, we can identify that our machine is a 10.10.10.13. .10 .10 That's the IP address. So let me first uh, go ahead and do a ping to that machine to make sure that we can access it. And as you can see, we have a response. So we have access to this machine. As always, I like to start with my Nmap scan and this is how i do it i'm just doing an nmap scanning for open ports and version information using default scripts or saved scripts and i'm outputting to a file called nmap and i'm scanning this ip address so let's find out what what we so let's see what we can find here our nmap is complete and looking at our results here we see that we have SSH on port 22 and looks like we have DNS that will be interesting to work on and port 80 so let's start with the easiest to check is port 80 and but to check what, what's on port 80 let's just uh, let's just go to the site 10.10.10.13 and it looks like we just have the default Apache server. Um, yeah. What is this? Okay. This just looks like a template from the internet. Can't attack this one. I have no business with them. So let's just check source. See if we can find something interesting there. You always want to inspect element here just in case, uh, you see interesting information so we have a date that it was updated which might be useful at a different time so i always take screenshots of everything just in case i get stuck i can always come back here and look at all these so that, that doesn't look interesting let's go back to our terminal so see, okay now that we have um port 53 let's start um by probing that one and since dns is open we just have to go to our uh, let me open a new tab here we, we just need to go to our Etsy host and add the new name so let's zoom in so if I say VI okay so I need to remove this that's an entry from the previous machines I did not reset my machine, so uh, this is 13. And the name of the machine is Kronos. Dot ht. Hit the box, okay. So if I do a ping, hit the box, I can get there using that. Okay, that's just the, the beginning. go back to my documents maybe in Kronos and what we want to do is we want to find out more about DNS I found some really cool articles about enumerating DNS I'll share with them in the um, description but uh, I found DNS recon but I like the dig command that's a, at least for me and in this case I'm just going to do a dig and this is at this IP, chronos.hackthebox.com, and we're looking for the MX record. So if, you, if you're if you not familiar with this, I just suggest you say man dig, and you'll see all the different options here. And this is what I just did here, the at, and I specified this IP, I mean 
and also this name and i'm looking for mx records this will show me other names that are resolving to this ip address this happens a lot a lot of websites will share an ip address with different subdomains and as you can see we do have the chronos dot hack the box here and we also have admin dot chronos dot hack the box so what i want to do is add this one as well to my etsy host uh, let's do it here so i want to do a vi slash etc slash host <coughs> insert this allows me to be able to see to visit the URLs using the fully qualified domain name so as you can say uh, this is admin dot chronos dot hack the box and escape let me write in quit okay now if I come here and start with the Kronos dot hack the box, I should be able to access the Kronos site. Then admin dot Kronos dot hack the box. That should also give me something. And there's an advertisement here. Interesting. And starting with this GitHub, this actually takes me to a real GitHub which is interesting so it's an application okay so we can look up this application see if there's any vulnerabilities in it oh security vulnerabilities okay uh, is there issues on this git page pull request okay so this looks like a legitimate github page but it's full of information about the application that we are running and we can learn more about it so that's good and here's another genuine app app application documentation that's where things are always interesting so we see that there's php involved you, this server requires PHP, a bunch of PHP. So obviously now I'm thinking this might be a PHP script that I can uh, execute here. Configurations. Okay. Let's look for the obvious we, before uh, going through all the documentation. Okay. Nothing here. But we do have documentation for this. I'm more interested in this... Uh, admin login page every time i see an admin login page i try to do a sql test i highly suggest that you read this if you haven't um, read about sql injection testing and i did go through a few test tests to make sure that i can actually try to get into this website and as you can see here we can do a username equals this or that or equals that so let's try this in the username. Let's see if this will work. This will test our SQL injection. Okay, let login failed. Then let's try a different option. Uh, we know this admin. Then we can say or one equals one then we can do that and then a pound let's see if this works bam so that was another way you you can use to test see if a site is vulnerable to sql injection and i have, I have this in my cheat sheet and what I just did is I came up with a list. I think I found a list somewhere. Uh, I will link it to it if I find it, where you can try different combination to test a SQL injection. 
and I just did a few. Uh, this was the third one, and it let me in. So we can do a trace route to 8.8.8. .8 Let's see if we can um, execute. So once we get to this one, I've done this before. There's another machine. I don't remember which one, but um, you can take commands. So I can do an ls and execute. I can semicolon. I can do a id. So I know that this is what I have right now. So this is my ID. So this is good. That means that I can execute commands here without any validation whatsoever. So that what that means is I can come here and spawn a shell back to my computer. I think if you watch my video number four or something, I do the same thing. So every time I see something like this, I test if I can execute, it works. I even remove this and do a semicolon ls, see if it works. And it works, so it, I don't even need this 8.8.8 .8 in there. Okay, now that we know that we can execute the uh, commands here, we can just uh, start our shell back to our machine. And the way I do that is I use this uh, shell command. Let me just put the semicolon. And there we go. So what I'm doing is I'm phoning back home on port 443. And that's where I'm listening at. And before we execute, let's go back to our terminal and start a list our listener. Naked negative L V N P four four three. So now that we're listening, let's go and execute our command. And as you can see, our shell came back up. So this is the command that I ran. If you are still curious and um, I found the, the, this on some site about shells and this is the easiest one so far I still don't fully understand how the whole thing works I'm not going to lie to you that I do uh, but I have used it and it always works and I'm hoping one day I'll take some time to break it down and hopefully explain it back to you but since we're already in here we have eliminate shell so I can do an ID who am I which is a www data that's okay um if i do an ls okay print working directory where am i www admin okay so this doesn't help me a lot because uh i need to escalate my privileges right now and the first thing that i need to do is uh for the first time i'm going to use uh Linear num, uh, this is a enumeration script that a lot of people use for Linux. So let's do that. Uh, if I do CD clear, num. Let's see if I have it already. No, I don't. I say git clone, then I'm cloning um, linear new. So this is for enumerating Linux machines. You throw this script at a Linux machine, it will find a lot of uh, stuff for you. So if I do an ls, so there is my linear new. So if I do cd lin and new. And what do I have here? Verify that I'm in there for sure. Then from here, I would like to get this file, the linenum.show. And to do that, I'm just going to launch my Python HTTP server. It's just easier that way. To start my Python, I'm starting it in this directory because I want that. There we go. Starting on port 80. Let's see if it succeeds. Then after that, I can just do a wget and this name here. Okay, now to get our script, we just have to do a wget http 10.10.14.33 slash min and num 
dot show. Let's see. Okay, that didn't work. Let's make sure that our HTTP server is running. Okay, looks like I did not start it properly. So if I do an ls here, our file is in there, so let's start it here. So now that it's started, let's do our wget one more time. HTTP webpack 10.10.10.14.33 slash win and num dot show bam so it looks like we got our linear num script and if you do an ls sure enough it's there let's just change the permissions here uh let's just give it all permissions and lin and num dot show cool now let's try it and noon that show let's find out so it looks like our script is working we are getting a ton of information but look at this we have a cron jobs this sticks to me right away before it even finishes when you have cron jobs you always want to know what's going on so we have a php script running under laravel and we're finding our name servers finally but uh let's go back here laravel is the name of that um application that we saw earlier and the name of this file that we're running or application that we're running is artisan and look at this we're running it as root i'm not sure how often it's running actually yeah we can tell and this file is running here it looks like every minute so what we can do from this since it, this is a php file we can upload our php file here and put it in the temp folder then from the temp folder execute it if we can edit this to tell it to execute our script or the easiest way is to replace this file with our PHP script and name it the same way, make it an executable, which I think is easier. So let's replace this with ours and name it that, and it should still execute. And you can spend some time looking at all oh, these. Doesn't look like they're any interesting. I did spend some time looking at all of them, but um, that cron job is what I decided to go after. So. Okay, so I accidentally exited out, out of my shell, so but I'm back. So what we can do is let's just go to our va www.ravel location. So this city was the, there we go. If I do a print working directory, if I do an ls, here's our artisan file. We want to replace this file with our reverse shell script and if you go to our Kali here uh, let's go back in my tools like if I do an ls I have my PHP reverse shell I just need to edit this to actually phone back to my machine so just do a copy paste and from here this is from pen test monkey you should have seen this before uh, we just want to change the ip address here info insert the ip address is 10.10.14.33 on port 1234 that's okay right quit all right <clears throat> Once it's here, uh, let's restart our HTTP server. This is how I transferred my file 
earlier but uh, as you can see we are in this location so let's just launch it one more time there we go then going to our machine we want to grab that file so we use wget http 10.10.14.33 slash uh, we want this that's what we want Bam. So if we do an ls here, we now have a php ratio.php and we also have artisan. So this is what we're going to be doing right now. So what we want to do is we want to remove, uh, let's just force it, this file, artisan. Or you can just rename it if you want to keep it. I don't want it. Then want to rename by just using the move command this is why they say maybe having a little bit of uh, Linux helps then from here we want to move this PHP dash reverse oh, okay <laughs> dummy so what I want is the same move command. You see right here, I put a dash instead of dot. PHP dash reverse. Can't type and say things at the same time. It's weird, but let's see. Okay, now if I do an LS, I should now just have an artisan. <coughs> Doesn't have uh, a lot of permissions. So what I can just do is HMOD. To give it all the execution permissions read write and all the good stuff then i need to make it an executable by making doing the hmod negative x i mean plus x artisan then from here i can just run it but before i run it i need to start my listener on my kali machine so i can do a netcat Negative L P and P. This is on one, two, three, four. And when I come back, I should be root. So let's execute it. Whoa, and this doesn't like it. Okay, never mind. I can't execute it, but every minute, according to my cron job, I almost forgot about this. This is what I do every time, and I just run it. According to my cron job, every minute it's going to run as root this file called artisan. So I can just come in here and wait. In a minute, this should execute and I should come back as root because the cron job runs every minute. So let's wait. While I'm waiting, guys, just if you like this content and if you made it this far, uh, please consider subscribing. Okay, there you go. It just popped up right as I was saying. Subscribe, like this video if you like this content. But as you can see, guys, I don't need to do this, but I'm root. No need to go and grab some ridiculous flag, but I can do a locate root.txt. I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to find it as you can see. So, guys, that's it for me. Uh, this was a fun machine. It's medium hard like and subscribe uh, let me know what you think in the comments i'm i'm improving uh, over the past two weeks i've seen myself uh change a lot i might sound like i'm struggling but the truth is i'm improving a lot and i'm very i'm getting confident that uh the oscp won't be that that hard after all so if you like this journey subscribe and like my videos otherwise i'll see you in the next video